Today we have this 1970s Underwood 319 vintage portable typewriter made in Spain. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. It comes with a carrying lid that fits into the back and closes on top. Nice and compact portable typewriter. Margins are right here on each side and you just push down and move them. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You get this line space, get you back to the beginning and skips one or two spaces. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you just flip this switch down and we'll skip two. Actually, that's three and that's two. So it's got one, two, and three. But we're gonna keep it on one for now and finish typing. As you can see, all the keys type nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence on the next line in red switch from black to red you just slip there's a blue white and red marker here you just want to push it down to the red very nice typing machine very smooth feels like a more modern typewriter than a lot of the vintage ones prints really nice I really I really like this typewriter I got three of them in the last few weeks and I just really like the feel of them just sold one the other day um, to pull the paper out easy you just flip this switch forward and it unlocks the rollers underneath the platen allows you to pull the paper out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or card stock make sure you flip that back before you load the next page it's got a shift on each side and a shift lock on the left side to clear it you just hit the shift button again MR stands for margin release. So when you get to the end of the margin, there's a locking mechanism that stops you from typing. But if you hit that MR, it will allow you to type past that margin. Backspace on the right side works good. Tab function right now, there is no tab set. So we're going to set one right there by pushing this lever up to the S, which stands for set. And go back to the beginning of the margin and it stops at that spot. To clear it, you hit hit it down with the C for clear. And now we don't have anything. I like to set one in the middle just in case you accidentally hit that tab button. It doesn't slam it all the way to the side, causing wear and tear on your typewriter. Open the hood. Got your spools. All the brand new ribbon is loaded to the left, so it's pulling to the right. And if you want to change that direction, just with your finger, just move, um, pull that little fork to the other side. This one has a, I believe it has a mechanism that will pull it to the side uh, that has the most ribbon. So you don't really have to worry about that. But if you want to, that's how you do it. It's got a carriage release on the right side only on this model. And that's about it. Now available for sale on eBay or Etsy, search Brooksaw Antiques.